The title of the work is Nadir, N-A-D-I-R, and um, it is a work that is some kind of a continuation of an exploration uh, from 2018. I think the themes are people, <laughs> people's interaction, uh, um, different ways people can be together uh, in a uh, playful type of um, situation or a group of people sub submerged by, by melancholy, for example, it's something that I'm noticing a lot uh, in my work. I'm also quite fascinated by um, group movement. You know, when, uh, when you see a very large amount of people uh, traveling together, for example, for very big events, I'm thinking about some religious pilgrimage, for example, those images where people are very much together, going all towards the same direction. In general, um, the pieces are always about the specific people who are in the studio. So the, this work, I think, I think the thing that I know for sure is that it is about the wonderful Milwaukee Ballet dancers <laughs> that have been working in the studio with me. I like to mix a lot of different tones uh, in the in the pieces, and this one definitely is a little bit of a roller coaster of mini adventures happening to those beautiful dancers. While uh, there's no clear narrative uh, about this piece, uh, uh, it definitely features, I would say, a lot of Mediterranean music. Um, uh, so it's very large on purpose. It is Mediterranean of southern France. Audience members will hear different dialects of Italian, for example, uh, Neapolitan dialects and other Italian dialects, uh, uh, different dialects of Arabic, right? The, the, the piece is set in the 50s, which is a complex era, but uh, often associated with joy, in a way, uh, you know, definitely in Europe, you know, it's a, it's a post-war uh, era uh, where people uh, regained a little bit of a sense of joy. This is my, my grandmother's generation. So I think a lot of the piece is actually also maybe, maybe a little bit of an imaginary interpretation of some of the stories that she shared with me. Yeah, so I really I think that as an artist in general, the world around us um, uh, and everything we can witness as humans, all of the images that we see, horrific images <laughs> on TV or um, you know, what we like in terms of art, uh, really feed the work that we do. For this specific work, uh, I just been absorbing the world. <laughs> Uh, through my own personal lens for for about five years now and this is what come, came out. I've been a dance professor uh, for many years now and a relatively also isolated um, dean of dance. I think now there are more and more female uh, leading figures but uh, when I started not that many. A lot of the directors were male. So I am especially happy to be in this program, uh, sharing the stage with uh, two fantastic uh, female choreographers. Uh, often people are joyful dancing together. I mean, I can think about a few traditional dances where people are not joyful, but often it exudes joy and, and the joy of being together. And I think that's why I'm sticking to dance. It's also because I think it really has a great power <laughs> to bring people together.